Prashant Chandra Mahalanovis was an Indian scientist and applied statistician. He is best remembered for the Mahalanovis distance, a statistical measure and for being one of the members of the first planning commission of Free India. He made pioneering studies in anthropometry in India. He founded the Indian Statistical Institute and contributed to the design of large-scale sample surveys. Prashant Chandra Mahalanovis was born on 29 June 1893 in Kolkata, India. Mahalanovis grew up in a socially active family surrounded by intellectuals and reformers. Mahalanovis belonged to a family of Bengali landed gentry who lived in Bikrampur. His grandfather, Guru Charan, was actively involved in social movement such as the Brahm Samaj, acting as its treasure and president. Guru Charan married a widow and action against social traditions. Guru Charan's younger son, Prabodh Chand, was the father of P.C. Mahalanovis. Mahalanovis received his early schooling at Brahm Boys School in Kolkata. Graduating in 1908, he joined the Presidency College, Kolkata, where he was taught by teacher who included Jagdish Chandra Bose and Prafula Chandra Roy. Others attending were Meghnath Shah, a year junior, and Subhash Chand Bose, two years his junior at college. Mahalanavis received a Bachelor's of Science degree with honours in Physics in 1912. He left for England in 1913 to join the University of London. After his tri post in Physics, Mahalanavis worked with C.T.R. Wilson at the Cavendish Laboratory. He took a short break and went to India, where he was introduced to the principal of Presidency College and was invited to take classes in physics. After returning to England, Mahalanovis was introduced to the journal Biometrica. This interested him so much that he bought a complete set and took them to India. He discovered the utility of statistics to problems in metrology and anthropology. Mahalanovis was married on 27th February 1923, although her father did not completely approve of the union. He was concerned about the Mahalanovis opposition to various clauses in the membership of the student wing of the Brahm Samaj. Mahalanovis took an interest in his statistic. An informal group developed in the statistical laboratory which was located in his room at the Presidency College, Kolkata. On 17 December 1931, Mahalanovis is called a meeting with Pramatha Nath Banerjee, Professor of Economics, Nikhil Ranjan Sain. They established the Indian Statistical Institute and formally registered on 28 April 1932. The institute was initially in the physics department of the Presidency College, its expenditure in the first year was Rs. 238. It gradually grew with the pioneering work of a group of his colleagues, including S.S. Bose, J.M. Sen Gupta, R.C. Bose, S.N. Roy, K.P. Nair, R.R. Bahadur, Gopinath, Kalinpur, D.B. Lahri, C.R. Rao. The institute also gained major assistance through Pitambar Pant, who was a secretary to Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Pant was trained in statistics at the institute and took a keen interest in its affairs. In 1933, the institute founded the General Sankhya along the line of Carl Pearson's Biometrica. The institute started a training section in 1938 Many of the early workers left the ISI for careers in the United States and with the government of India. Mahalanovis invited J.B.S. Haldane to join him at the ISI. 
Haldane joined as a research professor from August 1957. He resigned from the ISI due to frustration with the administration and disagreement with Mahalanovi's policies. He was concerned with the frequent trouble and absence of the director and complained that the journey of our director defined a novel random vector. Haldane had the ISI developed in biometrics. In 1959, the institute was declared as an institute of national importance and a deemed university. Mahalanobis had been influenced by the anthropometric studies published in the journal Biometrica and he chose to ask the question on what factor influenced the formation of European and Indian marriages. He wanted to examine if the Indian side came from an, any specific caste. He used the data collected by Andela and the caste specific measurement made by Harvard Risley to come up with conclusion that the sample represented a mix of European mainly with pupils from Bengal and Punjab but not with those from the Northwest frontier. He found a way of comparing and grouping populations using a multivariate distance measure. This measure denoted D square and now named Mahalanovis distance, which is independent of measurement of scale. Mahalanovis also took an interest in physical anthropology and in accurate measurement of skull measurement, for which he developed an instrument that he called the Profiloscope Sample Surveys. Mahalanovis contributed a lot in sample surveys. He introduced the concept of pilot survey and advocated the usefulness of sampling methods. Early survey began between 1937 and 1944 and included topics such as consumer expenditure, tree drinking habits, public opinion, crop acreage, and plant disease. He introduced a method for estimating crop yield which involved statisticians sampling in the field by cutting crops in a circle of diameter for fields. Others such as P. V. Sukhatme and V. G. Ponce who began to work on crop survey with the Indian Council of Agricultural Research and the Indian Agricultural Statistic Research Institute suggested that a survey system should make use of the existing administrative framework. The differences in opinion led to acrimony and there was little interaction between Mahalanovis and agricultural research in later. Mahalanovis was a member of the planning commission, contributed to newly independent India's five-year plans starting from the second in the second five-year plan, he emphasized industrialization on the basis of two-sector model. He played a key role in the development of statistical infrastructure. He encouraged a project to assess deindustrialization in India and correct some previous census methodology errors and entrusted this project to Daniel Thorner. Mahalanovis also had an abiding interest in cultural pursuits and served as secretary to Ravan Tagore, particularly during the later foreign travels and also worked at his Vishwabharati University. For some time, he received one of the highest civilian awards, the Padma Bhushan, from the government of India for his contribution to science and services to the country. Mahalanovis died on 28 June 1972, a day before his 79th birthday. Even at this age, he was still active doing research work and discharging his duties as the secretary and director of the Indian Statistical Institute and as the honorary statistical advisor to the cabinet of the government of India. He was honored as Fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences in 1935, Fellow of the Indian National Science Academy in 1935. He was the Officer of the Order of the British Empire Civil Division in 1942. 
he was Weldon Memorial Prize from the University of Oxford 1944. He was the fellow of the Royal Society in London 1945. He was the president of Indian Science Congress in 1950. He was the fellow of the Econometric Society USA 1951. Fellow of the Pakistan Statistical Association 1952. He was the fellow of the Royal Statistical Society UK 1954. He was awarded by Sir Devi Prasad Sir Adhikari Gold Medal in 1957. He was the foreign member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR in 1958. He was honored fellow of King College, Cambridge in 1959. He was awarded Padma Bibhushan in 1968. He also awarded by Srinivasan Ramajan Gold Medal in 1968. The government of India decided in 2006 to celebrate his birthday 29 June as National Statistics Day.